But uh, this is going to be uh, like a ranking video. So I'm going to rank my favorite PS3 uh, exclusive titles. So uh, exclusivity uh, for the PS3. The PS3 had lots of different uh, exclusive games. So I'm going to do, do like a top 10. Plus I'm aware that uh, some of these games were remade uh, like at some point, right? For, you know, a future uh, consoles. But talking about uh, at some point, these were PS3 uh, exclusive games. Right, and yeah, for example, a God of War 3 or Last of Us 1, and yeah. Uh, my top 10s are just like every other, you know, starts from 10 going on to 1, right? This list, you know, with a lot of lists, ranking lists, they're hard to do because you have to really go back, look at the games, take out games or replace games, uh, move, you know, at the rankings, right? And yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. So we have number 10 is going to be Infamous 1, uh, the original Infamous 1. Infamous 1, this is my introduction to the PS3 console and yeah, so Infamous 1 playing this game, I have a lot of memories uh, with this game. And yeah, I, I replayed it so many times and uh, if you like games, right, you know, a, a player as evil versus like player as good and yeah, this one set up uh, like a karma system, so you play as good versus playing uh, like as evil and depending uh, on how you play, your powers change over time and yeah. Infamous 1 had a very, you know, monotone a visual style i like to the game right about the world the way like how the world are reacted to you the people you know are reacted to you like to the powers i you know are you got and yeah side missions main missions lots of things here like you really i highly recommend infamous one now uh, number nine is going to be god of war ascension i know uh this one's going to be kind of uh controversial as a lot of people you know uh, this is a very underrated game you know right? but i like ascension right the ascension for its visual style Obviously, because, you know, it came out at the tail end, uh, right at the end of the PS3 generation. It is one of the best looking PS3 games out there, and yeah. But I like uh, what I did, uh, what I did uh, like with this game, right? You know, the enemies. Every God of War game has impressive enemies. And as the, the series evolved, obviously, uh, the enemies change over time, and yeah. But the weapons in this one, the weapons, so the Blades of Chaos, or was it the Blades of Exile? You had elemental versions of it. For example, uh, the ice... You have the soul, lightning, and, you know, the regular fire element, and yeah. But I really like this game, Ascension, and, you know, obviously it has puzzles. You know, there's the, what was it again? A reverse time ability. There's the fury bosses, uh, which are pretty cool, like, in this game. And yeah, you know, but if you like a God of War, or, like, overall, like, an action game, I highly I recommend this one. Now, number eight is going to be Mortal Storm Apocalypse. So, Mortal Storm Apocalypse. Uh, man, this game is super suspenseful, super fun. As you, you know, uh, literally, you know, it's like, you know, uh, the apocalypse. So the world is ending as uh, you are racing uh, through this apocalypse. Uh, the world around you like, is literally uh, collapsing. So every lap you complete on each race, environment uh, collapses. So you'll be racing and then uh, like a bridge will fall on the second lap. And you have to re uh, readjust uh, to how you race around that area. And yeah, lots of vehicles as well, like from motorcycles atvs um you know a pickup trucks right you know armored trucks um you know uh, sedan vehicles and yeah so a uh, lot of different vehicles and uh, extra modes arcade modes multiplayer as well uh number seven is going to be uncharted 3 makes a deception and this is my first uh, uncharted game i talked about i talked a lot about uh, the Uncharted series like in a video i did uh, like a month ago but uncharted 3 Uncharted that does a good job in the action adventure style of the game, right? You know, you know, just managing the story, the gameplay, the adventure, and yeah, a solid gameplay mechanic, shooting mechanics, right? Taking cover, a very solid, and yeah, and then this is, I like you know the suspense and attention building up at towards you finding at the treasure, right, and the main treasure, and yeah, there is a there is a hallucination sequences, right? You know, there's. You know, obviously, a puzzle sequences. There's that, what was it? That a Saudi Arabian plane, right? So that plane, and then that, there's that a crashing plane sequence, which is super suspenseful. A lot of crazy Hollywood sequences, like in the game, and yeah. But Uncharted Three, a very popular title, right, for the PS3. Uh, my number six is going to be Ratchet and Clank Future: A Cracking Time. This one is truly special. So it splits up Ratchet and Clank. And, you know, it is obviously, uh, at this one, in my opinion, uh, it is better than Clank Secret Agent. Uh, it, does, uh, uh, it does a lot of uh, good things, like, in this game here. And, yeah. So, you know, a Clank, he's more puzzle-oriented, right, in his areas. Right, you know, this one literally is about a timeline. And it teases, like, a future, 
you know, this future parallel universe, right? And yeah, a ratchet, he's trying to save, you know, a fine secrets, you know, like to his a Lombax species, right? You know, and as he meets like this new a general, right? A Lombax, and yeah, but very cool gameplay, you know, they added, you know, the exploration in the, in the galaxies. You get to go to different galaxies and you build up your, you're trying to find more Zoni and the more Zoni, right? You know, there, there, there are these robot AI collectibles. The more Zoni you collect, the more upgrades and the further you, you know, are progressing in the story. The weapon, you know, selection variety here is crazy. The challenge modes, right? A lot of challenge modes. The story uh, is pretty solid here, right? Uh, it is one of the better Ratchet and Clank stories, in my opinion, and yeah. So, uh, number five is our Resistance 3. One of my favorite shooters of all time, uh, without question. Resistance 3, I love it for its weapon selection. From the Mutator, to the Atomizer, to the Gryogon, a uh, Cryogon, right? Uh, the Ice Gun, right? The Augur, the Bullseye, the, you know, Assault Rifle, the HE-44 Magnum. The Magnum literally shoots out uh, explosive bolts, and yeah. But lots of stuff in this game. And the Chimera, the enemy in this game, right? You know, the, as you uh, fight the Chimera, uh, you feel uh, like like uh, you are uh, humanity's uh, last hope, right? You know, as this infection ravages uh, the area right and yeah but uh, the uh, chimera enemies they evolve over time the enemies that uh, they do change here you know a lot of cool enemies like in this one and visually it looks amazing this game looks amazing in the enemy design the environmental design the textures the resolution the graphics and yeah single player multiplayer lots of uh, replayability like in the single player right you know collectibles in journals right you know and extra stuff and uh, yeah, you know, overall, a very fun, a very solid game. Number four is Ratchet and Clank Tools of, you know, a Destruction. I like this one more than A Crack in Time. This one was longer and it had more weapons. Uh, Insomnia games, you know, uh, Ratchet and Clank games, I love it for its weapon and selection. And for the same reason why I love, you know, A Crack in Time. But this one, I was very long, gave you lots of content, lots of planets I had to go to, lots of areas to re-explore tons of exploration and yeah but a uh, tools of a uh, destruction right you know I always i uh, mix it up but a uh, uh, tools of a uh, destruction it being the what was it the fifth or the sixth in the franchise it it, it uh, really i uh, did a lot of i uh, did a lot of like for the franchise and yeah puzzles exploration areas right you know um story points and yeah now number three we're in the top three everybody knows this cover right you know if you play if you're playing like on PlayStation in the last uh, 15 years, uh, you'll know this, but The Last of Us 1. The Last of Us 1, one of the most popular games of all time. But I love it because it feels so, you know, just the narrative feels so powerful and, you know, the post the world. Playing uh, through the game, right, you know, ammo uh, resources are very scarce. Health resources are very scarce. So everything uh, in the world, you have to really hold on to. Uh, I use it uh, very uh, wisely. The uh, chemistry uh, between between Joel and Ellie, right, you know, are the two uh, main characters. Uh, evolves like over time, right, you know, and you, uh, you really get to see them, you know, the trust uh, between them grow like over time, right, you know, as it's uh, literally are uh, you guys uh, against the world, this new zombie, you know, infection like is taking over and yeah. But uh, mechanics, it is solid, like, oh my God, in terms of third person shooters, one of the best out there, you know. And yeah, our mechanics, our shooting feels very solid. Again, like in the cover feels very solid. Reloading feels very solid. And yeah, there's PS4 version of this game and the PS5 version. is one of the most uh, remade games of all time. And yeah, so I, I can literally experience this on the 3, 4, or 5. And yeah. Now my number 2 is going to be Infamous 2. A reason why I love, you know, Infamous 2, I this is my most... My most I replayed game arc of all time and yeah. I love to replay the game and yeah. So just like at the first one, play as good, play as evil. I get to choose. But this one, you know, improved on a lot of things like you know, side mission, you know, a design and you know, graphics, mechanics, power sets, and yeah. Uh if, uh it is kind of at the end of the era, right? So so for a Colmer graph, you make a you know a decision uh, like at the end of the game that kind of dictates other franchise and yeah even though uh, they went like with the second son so it is kind of a set in stone and yeah but overall are the power sets right you know like in the game electricity powers are back obviously you get napalm ice you know the dlc you can become like a vampire right you know a traversal so you can literally teleport with these uh, powers and yeah side missions main missions 
use uh, UGC content, content so you can make your own content and side missions. I'm not sure if it's still up, but through the updates back then, you could, uh, you know, I do that. And yeah, but Infamous 2, it is a blast at the playthrough. My favorite PlayStation 3 exclusive is God of War 3. Uh, another a very popular game, extremely popular. God of War 3 you can also experience on the PS4 and 5 and yeah. Well, God of War 3, the end of the era for the Greek mythology era in the God of War franchise. So Kratos is getting a revenge against the gods as he fights these larger than life uh, deities, right? These epic boss fights, right? And yeah, um, you really feel the sheer rage, brutality through the gameplay, right? As he brutalizes these enemies, right? You know, a ton of different enemies like in the game. A chimera, the Cerebrus, the Minotaur, the Gorgon Serpent, right? You know, and this one redesigned them, right? They kind of, uh, you know, are, you know, are redesigned at the enemies because it is very, very impressive graphically. Even if you play the PS3 version, it looks, uh, it is probably the best looking PS3 game out there. Overall, very solid, like extremely solid replayability, right? There's new game plus bonuses. Right, you know, extra damage, right, uh, double uh, infinite magic abilities. There's a challenge modes, and yeah, but God of War 3 has a lot to offer, right, you know. Um, one of my favorite things to do, I finish a game, then you fight Fear Kratos. The Fear Kratos is like an evil version, like another version of yourself, where, you know, as you use these uh, parry attacks, right, and I try to I uh, get the upper hand on him, and yeah, but... Yeah, I got over three, epic. And again, the scale of the game is huge. It feels big. So favorite PS3 exclusive. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you.